we head back for another event in historic Prague, a city that was founded over a thousand years ago. Over a thousand years ago, it is old and wrinkled. And, and very crabby. <laughs> but welcome back to Forza Motorsport 5. I am Kurt J. Mack. And we are driving around in our Ford GT in the A-Class series that we decided to join. And they're a little bit, eh, kind of disappointed in it. We, we expected to have our, our hats blown off. And uh, instead... Oh, oh, it's a track days thing anyway. Instead, we, we aren't as... Or, I'm sorry, we're in Middle Grand Touring. That's the series we're in. Uh, we're not we're not as impressed, but here is a track days thing anyway, so not even a race. It's just past the slow cars. Uh, I'm gonna try switching to the hood view to see if that's any more exciting for me. Somebody told me it's the yeah, it is that button. Okay. So instead of needing to uh, instead of needing to uh, oh, this is reversed. I'm not used to driving this track reversed. Instead of needing to go into the actual menu to change your, your viewpoint, I guess it is that shortcut. It's very confusing, because the last time in a game I pressed that button, it's like the little change window button on the controller. It sent me back. It's like the multitasking button on the Xbox One. It sent me back to the men main menu. Oh, And, uh... That wasn't what I wanted, so I've been avoiding pressing that button. Oh god, guy. See, to me, this just seems far more exciting of a view. Being strapped to the hood of the car. It just seems faster than the in-car view. How many do we need? 26! How many laps we got? Two, okay. Yeah, and because, because I'm not seeing the wheel very sluggishly move back and forth the steering wheel, as I've complained many a times about. I'm like actually reacting based on how the car is handling and not so much on how the guy is moving the steering wheel about. So I'm sorry for all the people who said the in-car view is more exciting. This seems far more exciting, in my opinion. I mean, look at how close that pass was. But it never been able to perceive that in the in-car view. I'm trying to sell it, see? <laughs> sell sell the hood view, Kurt. Sell it! Sell it like hotcakes. Whoa! Ha! Yes! The sounds are much grander as well. I didn't take those pylons out. Are you telling me that one of these derpy family hatchbacks was like so out of sorts with the turn he was taking that he took out a series of pylons on the side of the road. What are we at? 31. Oh my goodness. See, does the drive avatar difficulty change the difficulty of these guys, or is it just during races? Because, yikes. I trounced that. <laughs> I think I probably passed multiple cars multiple times. And I don't even think I hit any of them. Mad skills. Mad skills. Yep, got it. <laughs> These scenes make so much less sense without the music in the background. Why why are they panning so slowly across the car in silence? <laughs> All right, we'll do an actual race with the hood view. I don't know, maybe I should try the third person view now just of Nuremberg, Germany. Just to show it off, to try Nuremberg. to get a good a, a good sampling of all the viewpoints that you have available to you here in Forza Motorsport 5 in case I'm allowing anybody to try to decide whether or not to purchase a year and a half old game. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm always up for trying new things. Yep, got it. <laughs> Alright, is this an actual race? Please be an actual race. Yes, it is an actual race. The drive avatar difficulty should be on pro, it is. So let's just jump right to it. 
stop right there, run behind, somehow talk to each other through a closed window and with helmets on, and away we go. All right. Okay, here's the... is this the far back? Oh, that's... okay. There's like a angle down and an angle up. Okay, yeah, this is kind of weird. Uh, pylon! Pile off! Oh! Yeah, I'm watching my car more than I'm watching the line. Oh yeah, I'm not getting the feedback I am... I'm used to. Kralis! In the Viper! Yeah, this is interesting. What was that other, uh... Oh god. <laughs> Not, no time! No time to change the cameras. Oh, yeah, that... That cut-in doesn't, uh... Doesn't, uh... Oh god, it's like really dark. We've got the, the sun at our backs. Oh, good exit out of that turn. Thanks. Uh, I wonder if they slow down here. Probably. Oh, I probably should too. Don't go in the gravel trap. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Go, go, go. Ah, dang it. Blame it on the view. All right, what is this view about? Yeah, it's kind of like a closer third person view and more angled forward than top down. Whoa. All right, they slow down in this turn. Not sure if this car can... Yes. Got a little bit better of a run there. If they weren't in my way, I would have gone flat through there. Hi, hi Corrales. I know you're a, a guy who likes to hit the other cars. Or at least your avatar does that. Very nice. Oh, that's... that's strange. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's the Matrix. I beat Wabbit. You Wesley Wabbit. Oh, come on, perfect line through there, perfect! Uh... Oh god. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't handle the third person view. With the demo of Forza Horizon 2, since it is a far more arcade racer, the third person camera, I believe, feels a little bit better. So when I do begin playing that game, I'll give Beef a few more days head start, but uh, when I do begin playing that game, uh, Certainly, probably expect the third person camera for that one if that's something you prefer. Alright, you got a perfect exit out of this turn before. Oh, no, not gonna happen this time. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I did. I did what I didn't want to do. Dang it! Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, see, they always get in my way. Ah, fridge. Fridge! Refrigerator! Oh, man. Alright, screw this view. Hood view, all day, every day. Alright, now let's see if they're gonna screw me up through these corners. Probably, because they're going too wide. Yoink! Out of the way, Bucky Nick! Got him! Got him on the inside! He's gonna break on the outside. Oh, he's gonna cut to the inside. You sly devil, you! Oh! That was a reverse St. Louis sidestep. <laughs> you go from the inside and then pass on the out. 
Oh, drafting, drafting, drafting. Oh god, I missed the breaking point. Missed the breaking point. Missed it, missed it. Okay, that's fine. I took out three other guys in that process, so... I don't feel so bad about missing that breaking point. I'm panicking. Because I'm doing terribly in this series. Oh, did they spin out? Oh. So a bunch of white smoke. I thought there was a, a catastrophe up ahead. Alright, that felt like a good turn. Alright, we gotta nail this turn. Gonna nail it to the wall. Oh, I kinda missed the breaking point. Ah, yeah, I had to lift because I thought I was going to go into the gravel trap. All right, let's see what we can do here. Get the nose in. Nope, nope, nope. Dang it. Oh, I cannot get that turn right. Get out of the gravel. Get out. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, guy. Who was that? Beef. Beef. Yeah, I do remember. I think he, got, he bought a yellow uh, roof. Beef. <laughs> We're back here <laughs> in, at the in almost last place. Duking it out. Oh, he's freaking out. Don't freak out, guy. Oh, he he is he is done. Beef is done. Foot. He, he, he's well done. Well done, beef. Yeah, see, you don't even have to lift there, guys. I'm kind of squirreling out of control here, but... Oh, that would have been so much better if I could have done that every single lap. I probably would have been the first. But no, these jerks get in my way. Boop. Oh, not even, not even a finish. Not even a proper finish in this one. That's a shame. But I think we have determined that I'm going to stick with the hood camera. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm also gonna stick with the uh, the lack of replays, even though that is self inflicted and uh, damage off as well. I don't. The damage doesn't do anything for me. Also, the music off. <laughs> the music off is, is just offsetting now. Ah, <laughs> uh, 3,000 credits. Whatever. I'll take it. Oh, I still leveled up. <laughs> you suck. Congratulations. Have a new level. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, man. Uh, I am going to quit, because I'm kind of bored of that, and uh, we're going to try out something goofy for fun here. Yep, this is my garage. Oh, you can skip that! God, why was I never told that? Uh, I am going to try out the Super Mini! There are those among us who believe that small is better. That little something with the bulk engineered out of it must necessarily be more highly evolved. Bones, gadgets, television presenters. When it comes to cars, it should be relatively simple. Small cars have space only for small engines. And small engines, as we all know, means small power. However, small can also mean nimble. There is simply less of the car to change direction, so it can do so more quickly. But here's your chance to decide for yourself, with some small cars with enough power to make them a lot more than merely entertaining. The Fiesta ST is one of the very best, as befits a car that's competed on the World Rally Championship. As, of course, has the Citroen DS3, though the Citroen, like the Fiat Abarth 500 SS, clearly feels the need to tell the world that with some frankly silly graphics. What is it that makes all things small need to overcompensate with an unnecessarily showy appearance? I wouldn't know. I am a large individual. Oh, you only have three cars to choose from? Good gravy. Uh, what do we got? Five, nine. Ooh, that one's pretty high on the speed. And this one... Oh, oh, it's, it's got, to, got to wait to get an up upgrade. Upgrade. Well, technically, since I already have a Ford, 
I could get more affinity boni by choosing a Ford, but I'm not a fan. That is a rental car to me. Uh, the Fiat, I feel like choosing just for the sake of comparing it to the Fiat in uh, Assetto Corsa. This is a cool looking little car, but since they're not available in the United States, I think I'm going to choose the Fiat. Yoink! Yes, Ant-Man. Ant-Man is the one I want. Coffee. Um, the Flash. Sunkiss. <laughs> uh, I'll probably, let me, yeah, uh, let's just choose a stock color. Although I wonder, how would it look like in like a flat black? <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, how do I... Oh, you can't change the color? Yeah, why can't... There's some, there's some weird things. Like, you can normally... Okay, I want a flat or a matte paint job, but I'm going to change it to a black or something else. But in these screens, when you're buying a car, you can't do that. It's really... There's some very strange things going on with this Vigi game. Um, if I was to get... Hello, fade back up. If I was to get one of these things, it'd probably be the black... Red on black, so let's go with that. Oh, what's the black on red? Nah, red on black. It's kind of the classic look. 62 grand? <laughs> That's expensive. <laughs> Good gravy. Uh, Alright, let's buy with our credits. Which actually, we're doing alright. We're back up to 714. Well, we were back up to 714. I think from leveling is where you get the most amount of credits. You get 35,000 credits every time you level, so... This car doesn't have a hood to put the camera on. That's the one problem. <laughs> oh man. Now we return to the scenic hillsides at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin for another event at Road America. Road America. Let's do a couple races here and then we will call this episode a, a day. This episode is a day. I have I have discussed things with the official calendar and date authority of the world, Greenwich or Greenwich Greenwich. I don't know <laughs> wherever wherever the Greenwich Mean Time is, and uh, I have said, you know what, twenty four minutes per day, just so I can say I have day long YouTube episodes. We're gonna go with that, right? And they're like, okay, okay, Kurt J Mac, we will do that. Uh, Suggested lying, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll, we'll we'll keep with the same uh, settings just so we can have a good comparison. But let's let's -a go. Whoa! Was that thing traveling sideways for you? Anybody else but me? Whoa! Easy there. It's not that powerful of an engine. Don't murder it. Yeah, there's no hood. I don't see a hood. That's awesome. <laughs> this. <laughs> I don't this this camera view. It's like I'm strapped to the front of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa, guy. Excuse me. Whoa. Okay. Dorifto. That uh, something you don't expect to see. Seems like we're almost going as fast as we were in the Ford GT, just from the, the camera angle perspective. Oh, poor guy out in the grass. I know how that feels. No flashbacks, guy. No flashbacks. What do we got? A right-hander coming up? All right, let's... Okay, this is the... the front license plate holder view. This is scary. This definitely gives a better impression of speed power. And here's that rear camera, where you can't seem to tell what's in front of you. Whoops. I'll try the in-car view, just because... Oh god, yep, nope. See, the instant I go into the in-car view, I end up in the sand trap. That is just the way things are. Excuse me. Oh, that was close. Mm -hmm. 
Really? Do you need... Oh god. Do you need a fire suit with gloves on, racer guy? If this car catches on fire, you can just blow it out like a series of birthday candles. Jokes! It's funny, because it's a small car. <laughs> There's a little racing line there telling you to slow down for that turn. Really? Oh god. I probably should have slowed down for this turn, however. Oh god! Oh ho ho! Whoa, this thing is a tank. I just, like, spun like like a half-track there. All right, that was a mistake. I was a little bit too overconfident. I almost did, like, a nose stand when I hit that wall. <laughs> All right, we can... Hopefully catch back up. They they slow down in that long straightaway too much. Drafting! <laughs> ah, he's just punching a hole through the air right in front of me. Oh, I am actually drafting. Don't know if that's something that would actually happen with these cars, but... All right. Oh, I could have probably didn't need a lift there. Dang. Such is life and regret about the turns in which you lift upon. That is like a metaphor. Put that in a book. Uh, a bathroom book. Deep, deep racetrack thoughts. With Kurt J. Mack. Hi. I have the same car as you. Oh, you... Hey, I don't know if that quick change of direction that he had in the middle of that turn was really physically possible. He really just skipped forward, I'm calling shenanigans in the physics there. Oh! Got you on the inside. All right, we at least got to get a medal here. I don't even... Okay, yeah, don't lift, don't lift, don't lift, don't lift. Yes! I've gotta run, I've gotta run here. He's gotta get on the inside of this guy. Oh, I should have slowed down for that turn. Son of a monkey. All right, we're all right. We didn't lose any positions, but we're not gonna have quite the run we thought we were gonna have for this straightaway. Dang it! All right, now I have to remember there's a turn coming up, up right here. To break for it. Ooh, that felt good. Perfect turn! It's one of those crazy balloon guys off in the distance. Are they selling cars over there? Is that a car dealership? Car dealership? Blah, blah, blah. Uh oh. Oh, I gotta get in the bronze here. By corner cutting. Yes! Oh, we can get into the silver as well! I am a jerk. J E R K E. Ooh, wow. We. Really got him on that last turn, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe the hood view on this car is really difficult because there isn't a hood. So maybe for everybody who likes the in-car view, <laughs> I've I've chosen the correct... Oh, my God. <laughs> There's nowhere for the car to be dented. The engine is right behind that little thin piece of plastic there in the front. <laughs> oh, that's just silly. And, but look, I've made more money already with this car in one race than I have in any race with the GT. Almost an affinity level. Continue. All right, we'll do another race here. I don't know how long this episode's gone, but we'll do another race. And, uh, ooh, Laguna Seca! This should be fun. This car's going to flip over in the corkscrew. It's like a roller skate. The car, not the corkscrew. Yeah, that turn. I'm just going to go loop. That's the 
noise it's actually going to make when my tires leave the ground. Bloop! Oh, and it's a chase event. Well, that kind of ruins my excitement. Excitement ruined. All right, let's, uh, you know what I don't need is traction control. So let's turn that off. And get a little bit of an additional boost in the points. And start the race. This might be interesting, because the cars we're trying to pass are probably about similarly matched to the ones we're driving. All right, we've got three... Okay, maybe I need that traction control. Good gravy! Good lord! Okay, you suck. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, maybe we did need the traction control. Yeah, this thing is... Holy cow, this thing is a, a mess without traction control. Holy cow, why is this thing such a mess without traction control? Like, really? There's something seriously wrong. It's probably not even possible in the production version of this car to disable traction control fully. I'm assuming. Maybe, maybe not, since it's the... Uh, since it's the race, well not race, but it's the performance, maybe there is a way to disable. Alright, you stink as well, so I guess all I've got to do is not crash and I'll be alright. Although, <laughs> that's not looking like such an easy task. Come around to the crook screw! Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, 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 break. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Like a glove? Oh, okay. Oh, we might have to view the replay if not just for that turn, to be honest. <laughs> Told you this thing was a roller skate. It doesn't know which way is forward. Whoa. Well, Oh my gosh. Get a grip, man. Okay, alright guys, 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 let's pick a lane. Whoop. No, don't go in the first, that's where you have no traction. Go in the second. Oh dear. Guys, guys. Kia, Kia! Out of the way! <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a big difference. Ooh, hot dogs. It's a big difference. <laughs> Going from the uh, rear wheel drive Ford GT to this thing. Alright, technically we should be able to take this turn by just lifting, but, uh, oh, guess not. Yeah, this one has a lot of forward push. Okay. <laughs> Can we have a repeat? Whoa, 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 what the heck was that? Got some... Oh, God, guy! Don't break on your way downhill, that's terrible. Gain a grip. There we go. Perfect turn. Good turn. I'll take it. She's dead. You can't compliment me ever. Just tell me I do good turns, but I'm never going to be perfect to you. <laughs> <laughs> Acting. Uh, guys, 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 the event is for me to pass you. Ho! Oh. <laughs> can't block the road like two semi trucks on the highway. I, I, we, we have to, before we end this episode, it might have been going a little bit long here, but before we end, uh, we have to watch the replay of that entry into the first corkscrew. That was crazy. 
I don't even know what happened. Gold. Gold? Yeah, this um, this car is a moneymaker. And I'm going to shake my moneymaker. Bloom. Although I'm not leveling as fast. Yeah, okay. Maybe I guess with the higher tiered race cars you gain more XP, but the actual credit rewards is similar. So let's let's view the replay for funsies. And uh, one of the things I did in the live stream that isn't up on YouTube, 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 that isn't up on YouTube is the uh, showing the replays. The replays are pretty decent. Uh, racing games as of late have been disappointing with their replay functions. The replays in this game are, are not too shabby. And here I am trying to get used to having traction control off and regretting my decision. I assure you, if I was actually sitting in that car, my head would be pressed up against the roof line. Oh, I hope it chooses an external camera view. Because that's the most fun. What is going on up there? Why is he smoking? Why is that guy's tires smoking in the replay? It's probably... I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's like rear tires. Or that guy, the red car. It's the red car who's smoking. His rear, uh, right rear tire is locked. Heh. <laughs> uh, you're having some technical difficulties there, friend. All right, here we go. No, no, in, outside, outside the car view. Outside, please. Thank you. Oh no, you're gonna miss it. Here it is. Woo! Like a glove. <laughs> oh, that's a good time. That is a good time indeed. All right, so I will I will disembark. Woof! This uh, this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Oh God, I'm way out there. So much for watching Forza Motorsport Five and uh, dealing with my my continued hemming and hawing and back and forth about the views and the difficulty and the this and the that and the, and the gliding. But uh, we'll we'll keep playing this uh, for a little while and then I am probably going to switch. When I do uh, obtain it, I'm going to switch to Forza Horizon 2. And we'll actually have fun experiencing a game from the get-go with that one. So look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time. Woo! Doggy. Traction control disabled.